story that you first heard on ET Now. It was back in the month of November 2019 that we told you that Finance Ministry and the RBI were under active discussions to ensure that some sort of a special purpose vehicle be formed to provide a liquidity support to NBFCs as well as housing finance companies. We're given to understand that uh, RBI today has put out guidelines for the same for the formation of this SPV, which will be managed by SPI caps. The SPV will be purchasing the short-term papers of eligible NBFCs and housing finance companies. However, the housing finance companies and NBFCs can use these proceeds or funds only to extinguish their existing liabilities. So it's an important one to watch out for. It was being talked about between Finance Ministry and the Central Bank for a very long time. Remember, the centre had earmarked uh, funds of close to 30,000 crore rupees to provide liquidity. And uh, it was being talked about uh, uh, that there was a need for a special purpose vehicle to do the same. We're given to understand that the eligibility criteria for the NBFCs and the housing finance companies that can avail this is pretty stringent. Uh, the net NPA for these NBFCs or housing finance companies should not be more than 6%. Uh, the capital adequacy ratio should also not be below the regulatory requirement. Uh, they should not be reported as either SMA 1 or SMA 2 for borrowings prior to 1st of August 2018 and should have reported a net profit in one of the preceding financial years as well. So, the stringent criteria being put in by the central bank. Uh, of course, the idea behind this move is to ensure that uh, the NBFCs that are of a good quality uh, or, or uh, uh, that uh, are uh, better in terms of their financial position, they should be the ones where some sort of a support or liquidity aid is provided and which is why a stringent criteria has been put in by the central bank.